There are several ancient plants that are still alive today and can be found in the fossil record. Two of these plants are the ginkgo and the dawn redwood. These two have many similarities. They are both from China. They both can tolerate extreme environmental conditions and take lots of physical punishment and continue to survive. These two plants have been recorded to be in existence before the theorized meteorite strike that hit the world and devastated the dinosaurs. We call that the KT boundary when we dig in the ground and we look for layers. These plants have been alive before and after this boundary. So we can theorize that they survived the meteorite blast. And after thinking about it a little more, we wanted to know why, how did this plant what theories could we make to, make to allow this plant to survive such a massive impact? A little bit has to do with where they were found and the genetics of this plant. This is what our theory consists of. Our theory consists of that the ginkgo and the dawn redwood were located in China, which is really far away from where the meteor strike hit in uh, Central America. They were found in hilly sections where a plant could be found, could be put into the ground and survive a massive impact because of the geography. The blast or the tsunami that entailed wouldn't get to this, this area. Or if it did, the amount of energy that would be put into the plant or the plant would experience from such a blast would be minimal. Then the two, these two plants were actually located at about 500 miles apart when they were first discovered as in these ancient groves. So the places, the locations that they were found in were good locations to survive a big blast on the other side of the planet. After the big blast, what animals were theorized to remain were small mammals such as mice. And these mice, after the big blast, they emerged and they were hungry and they were looking for something to eat. So they would go over to what plant material was left, which was the ginkgo and which was the dawn redwood. And they would try to survive by chewing on it. Today, ginkgos and dawn redwoods can take massive abuses. We know that because we grow them on our farm. They can take many types of girdle marks. They can take lots of mouse damage. They can take lots of buck rubs. These physical damages that we know that the plant can survive help this plant survive through the meteor impact by allowing it to take abuses of the animals that remained after the, the blast and continues to, to survive after generation after generation being mauled and mutilated the plant can still survive both this is what makes our theory come come together where the, the plants that the ginkgo and the dawn redwood were in china they were very far away from the blast zone after the blast whatever animals remained fed upon the plant and the plant could still survive and these traits are which we can still see today when we grow the plant they were both close to one another now the last part we want to talk about is why didn't the plant change like we heard about Darwin and the plants will change from generation to generation to better suit themselves to the environment that they're in and then we theorize that the reason that they don't change is so much is that the generations that it takes for a plant to go through Darwinism may take a couple couple generations. Whereas ginkgos and dawn redwoods, they can live to be very old. A good example is the ginkgo can live to be up to a thousand years old. So the generations that it takes for it to change the genetic makeup of the plant is going to take a very long time. Theorize that a gnat whose generation can be six or seven in one year, is going to change the genetic material much quicker than an elephant, which takes 35 to 80 years. So the, the, the rate of genetic change in the population has to do with how long it takes for the generation to go through its life cycle. Since that these plants are such long-lived plants that they don't change your genetics very quickly because of that long-lived gene that they have. So we can have these ancient plants that were found in the fossil record because they, they live for so long, they don't change very fast, they can tolerate tremendous amounts of abuse, and they were situated and they were found in locations that would survive a massive blast from a meteorite. If you have any questions, just give us a call. We do sell both the Dawn Redwood 
and the ginkgo at our farm here in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. And we also have another farm down in McMinnville, Tennessee. If you have any questions, give us a call. Our telephone number is 215-651-8329. Thank you. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.